Hello everyone and welcome. Thanks for joining me today and please like, comment, and subscribe on this video. Today I'm just going to be going over a quick tutorial on how to adjust the self-propelled drive system on your mower. Is your mower bogging down whenever you try to engage the drive? Let's say you push it forward and nothing happens and you're not going forward. Maybe this bar doesn't engage like it should. So what happened with my mower, as you guys saw, I recently got this on Craigslist about a couple weeks ago and everything's been working great since I've tuned it up and everything. However, I pushed it under a tree with a low hanging branch and I threw off the engagement a little bit with one of these cables. Now, this is just gonna be a quick video. I'm gonna show you how to make an adjustment to these cables and really it can apply to any mower. It doesn't have to be specific to this Honda HRM 215, but the principle is pretty much the same. It might just look a little bit different. So if you're having trouble, I'll go ahead and show you how to do that now. So as I said before, one of these cables is actually for the drive for the self-propelled system. That goes underneath here. One of these cables is for the gear selector, the throttle, the blade engagement, which is up here, as well as the self-propelled engagement, which is the second bar. So if you take a look underneath here, we have a cable for each one of these. And there's an adjustment screw that you can take out in and out basically to change how tight or loose these cables are. So there's a little wire that runs in between this cable and it basically engages whatever system on this mower. So, you know, your mower might have an adjustment down here where you just loosen a screw, either in or out. So if you move it in, it might tighten it. If you move it out, it'll loosen it. So I did this adjustment to the drive selector when I first bought it because it'll only engage into second gear. So I just had to move this nut out and it allowed me to move it all the way into drive into gear three. So, for the self-propelled now, it's pretty easy. There's a nut on each side. You just loosen this up a little bit and see how it's holding it in place with this bracket here. There may have been other videos that didn't show this as clearly, but basically it's clamped in between this metal bracket right here. There's a nut on each side. And essentially, what's happening when you're trying to adjust it this little rubber grommet pulls off here and you can see it's threaded onto this nut here is threaded on keeping it in place so this is a 3 8 open end wrench and I believe you can also use 10 millimeter but it just depends on the model so go ahead and give that a little bit of a spin so if I move the nut down by backing this one off it'll loosen it up. If I want to make this cable tighter so it engages better, I'm going to spin this nut the other direction. So I know which way I have to move this already because I already did this. So we're just going to spin this back to right about, right about there. And when you're done, you just put that back in place. So right now it's kind of loose. So that's what the second set screw is for on the back here if my camera will focus properly. It's really having trouble focusing. This close up, come on, there we go. Okay, so I'm gonna take this. Give it a few spins in that direction. It's kinda of hard with two with one hand, but basically, uh, you kind of have to hold this in place so it doesn't slip out like that. So you get it in place, hold it with one hand over here just to brace it. And then as you're tightening this, turning it, it'll kind of force its way so that way this nut on this side meets up against here. And that's all it really is to it. So uh, I'm gonna make the adjustment quick and then I'll return in just a second. Okay, now I've got that fully adjusted. You can see I kind of pushed it all the way up into that slot, so what I'm gonna do just to tighten it all the way, I kept torquing that down as far as it'll go. 
and it kind of spins a little bit freely. So what you're going to want to do is just give this nut on this side just a real quick snug, about a quarter turn. Don't over tighten it, just, just a little bit. And that's all there is to it. And then you just slip this back over to protect the end. Now, when I go to engage it, it's going to be a lot tighter. Well, it doesn't feel that much tighter, but it engages a lot quicker. And when it goes, this thing takes off like crazy. So it's a lot better. And the return on this was kind of slow as well, which if I engage it like that, it snapped back a lot quicker. So that was the problem I was having is that this would kind of get hung up here halfway after I let go, it would kind of stick. So this tightening that up, it returns normal again. So anyway, just a quick fix. Thanks for watching.